what's up guys and welcome back to another video i wanted to show you the difference between the suron x and the taloria xxx so let's start with the main thing the price the price of the suron is currently forty six hundred dollars and the price of the Talaria XXX is $3250. Now the $3250 price, that is for the Lunacycle Black Edition XXX. This is not the Black Edition XXX. This is the Euro version XXX, which has a little bit less power. I've seen some websites say that it's 4500 watts, and I've seen some websites that say that it's 5500 watts. I'm not sure which one it is. To be honest with you, I'm already lost. The Suron stock peak power is about 6000 watts. Top speed. I know you guys are interested in that. A stock Suron, they claim will do 45. I've never seen a, a stock Suron go 45. Usually it taps out at about 42, 43 miles an hour when you cut the wire. This guy right here will do 45 miles an hour stock. And uh, this is again, not the Luna Cycle version. The Luna Cycle version will do 50 to 52 miles an hour. As far as battery goes, the stock Suron battery is 60 volts. 34 amp hours mine is upgraded i have a shy battery uh, 60 volt 60 amp hour the talaria xxx comes with a 60 volt 40 amp hour battery as far as range a stock suron will do give or take 20 to 30 miles obviously it all depends on how you ride where the Talaria will do closer to 40 miles. On the Suron, when you buy a Suron stock, it will have a 19 inch front wheel and a 19 inch rear wheel. On my Suron, I went ahead and changed that to a 16. I put the Milk Racing 16 on there. I'm a Milk Racing Ambassador. You guys can get a discount if you use the code VOLTED. On the Talaria, on the other hand, it comes with a 19 inch wheel in the front and a 17 inch wheel in the back. As far as suspension stuff goes, my Sauron came with a KKE fork. They do come with a KKE fork. It could be a Fast Ace fork and some other one like a DNM fork. The KKE fork is amazing. I love it. It's super cushy, plush. It's not the best out there. Obviously, you can upgrade that, but uh, it's very nice for what it comes with. On the other hand, the Talaria XXX comes with a Talaria factory fork. It's a decent fork, but it's not as good as the KKE. There's only one adjustment over here. I believe it's the rebound is the one that you can adjust. The other one knob doesn't really do anything. And it's a cool fork. It's a light fork, but it's not the best. Um, the Suron fork is a lot better. Back of the bike suspension wise, the Suron has a spring and then it has a triangle and a linkage for the whole suspension system where the Talaria XXX does not have that. It just only has a spring over here. Now I know it's, uh, it's okay, it's just not as good for jumps and things like that. Uh, if you're planning on jumping and doing some extra stuff with it, uh, the Suron will be better for that. As far as upgrades and things like that go, the Suron, we all know there are so many options, so many different brands to choose from, from motors, batteries, everything that you can replace on this. The Talaria didn't have it for a while, only now I know Shy Battery has made a battery for this thing. Some other company made a battery for this thing and some motors uh, can actually work on this now. And I know some guys actually have been experimenting with uh, like aftermarket controllers that they got to work on the Talaria. So that's something that's uh, available now. Now one thing I wanted to mention is on my Saron I have a direct mount and a 3 inch rise bars by Pro Taper. That just changes my sitting position uh, and it's a lot it's, it's made it very nice than a stock Saron where the Talaria this is stock I haven't done anything to it and the handlebars actually sit a few inches higher than what my raised Saron is so that's something to keep in mind when I sit on the bike and ride it I actually have a way better sitting position on the Talaria XXX than my Suron. It might be that I need a, like an inch or two extra rise in here to fix that, but that comes stock like that over here. As far as brakes, both bikes get hydraulic brakes. I'm still running the stock ones on my Suron. I did replace the pads to the Shimano pads. I have not done anything as far as brakes go to my Talaria XXX. Still works perfectly some people do upgrade their brakes those upgrades are available for both bikes some people get magura brakes dominion hayes dominion trp evos those are some of the options you can go for still stock on mine and i like it 
the Talaria XXX does get a bigger rotor stock. So stock, it has a 220 millimeter rotor, both front and back. That is pretty nice. It's bigger than the Sauron. And last but not least, as far as the drivetrain goes, both run on a very similar way where the motor is connected to a belt, which rotates the shaft and then the shaft rotates the chain. And the exact same thing on the Talaria XXX. Finally, my thoughts, my experience riding both bikes. I love both of them very much. But to me, the Suron is my favorite i love riding this off-road especially with that 1916 it just feels amazing i also love the talaria very much it's a super nimble bike that 1917 setup is super nice especially once i change the tires on there as soon as i put aftermarket tires everything changed on the bike i get way better traction it's just nicer to ride off-road and miscellaneous things that I did not uh, say earlier, the Suron comes with a key, where the Talaria XXX comes with an NFC chip. There's a button, you press the button, you put the NFC next to it, and it turns the bike on. Some people like it, some people don't like it. There are upgrades if you want to change that NFC chip and get a key you are able to do that so keep that in mind and then going back to my experience i get way more range with my Suron because it's upgraded but this is super fun to ride on the street uh, especially if you're gonna get it with the road tires that it comes with from luna that's probably really really fun to ride on it's a super nimble nice bike i have wraps on both of them ecd wraps on the suron custom ecd wrap which i designed on the talaria which goes hand in hand with my gloves right here by the way if you guys enjoy this type of content maybe want to support the channel definitely definitely hit that subscribe button show some love that helps me out tremendously if you want to take it a step further and you really want to show support to the channel i got these vaulted gloves available and we have a vaulted keychain available as well just a way to show support to the channel to me and what i do and actually get some in return so if you kind of dig these check them out i'll have a link in the description and that's pretty much it guys i just kind of wanted to do it a, a fairly quick video with my thoughts my experience on both of these beautiful e-dirt bikes they're both beautiful if you're looking to save a little bit of money don't really care that much for upgrades and things like that go for the talaria save yourself a little bit over a grand that's always nice if you're more into jumping and extreme off-road stuff then i highly recommend the suron i have plenty of videos on these two bikes on my channel and there will be a lot more videos on my channel about these bikes so definitely stick around go check them out but that's pretty much it for me guys i appreciate you watching very very much and i'll catch you on the next one peace